beauty fan welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty I'm Mickey and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty and sometimes luxury goods and today we're talking about the new Lisa Eldridge seamless glide eye pencils I ended up picking up four of them Renaissance gold night forest burnt umber and then ground coffee so I actually have two of the colors on my eyes right now I'll talk about my official uh, my initial um, thoughts. I did some comparisons on my arms and then we'll try to demo these on my eyes and on my hands and well and then talk about the formula. So if you're interested in reviewing that content with me and hearing my thoughts then keep watching but before we continue please remember to subscribe click all for the notification of when my videos go up. and then liking and commenting below really helps out engagement on my channel so go ahead and subscribe and you know a lot of you are watching actually are not subscribed to my channel so what's stopping you go ahead and that would help me out. Um, below are my closest foundation shades and then as well as links to these products of where you can find out where you can find these as well as anything else on my face you don't have to use my affiliate link but if you choose to do so thank you very much but it's really there for you to help to look at all the products I review on my Instagram and YouTube account so you can see the products that I'm enjoying and then review so let's get started on reviewing these new products well today I am testing out these new Lisa Eldridge seamless glide eye pencils and then what I'll do is um, start talking about the products and then insert some product shots I took outdoors so these retail for $30 each in USD these came out um, last week in September of 2023 eyeliner dreams the seamless glide eye pencil a luxuriously unbelievably silky smooth long wearing gel eye pencil with intense color payoff Available in six addictive shades from velvety matte to lustrous metal. Anyone can use this eye pencil. It has an addictively creamy texture with the smoothest and level of ease I've never experienced before. Seamlessly glides on pigment with a luxurious, almost liquid feeling, allowing for playtime before setting to a budge proof, waterproof, and fade resistant finish that will last all day with 16 hour proven wear. This is your dream soft coal pencil that sets and stays put. She says that her products are all 100% cruelty free, fragrance free, and suitable for skin sensitive skin. And as the name suggests, seamless glide eye pencils are so smooth and easy to apply and even easier to blend. Whether you prefer your liner in a soft and blended seamless smoke, smudged into lived in 90s grunge, a graphic clean and elongating flick, or smoothed in the waterline to define the eye seamless glide will deliver. They are infused with soothing chamomile flowers extract. The formula smooths color comfortably across the lid, hugging the lash line in pure, rich color. Renaissance Gold is a blackened metallic gold with cool champagne pearl. Night Forest is the deepest green with blue and green pearl, and that's where that luminous shimmer comes in. Ground Coffee is a neutral deep matte brown. Burnt Umber is a rich, warm matte brown. The other two I did not get, get is Black Shrackle's a classic matte black and Cinder Smoke is a cool gray with a subtle pearl. So I did not do um, a video of this look but I just really really wanted to play with these even before I filmed and so let me get up close so you can see what I have on my eyes already. On my eyes I have the two colors Night Forest which is the green one and the Renaissance Gold and I'll get in here. So this Renaissance Gold I have it actually all over the lid and I wanted to actually not use it as a liner. These are the most slippery feeling um, wet eye pencils I've used. These are not liquid liners but as you put them on it almost feels like it's a liquid and it has to do with the ingredients. I looked at the box. There's a lot of silicone in <laughs> this product so that's why that's that um, synthetic material that makes that huge amount of slip and give and slip. So. On, as on application, and I'll show you this on my other hand because my other hand is all marked up. Uh, this product is very slippery and there's about, she said about a 40 second dry down time. And let me just show you how it's, you can still smudge it. See how much you can still smudge it. And when I saw this, I'm like, ooh, this is kind of like a perfect one and done taupey moment. It's very subtle. Uh, and I just wanted to see if I could use this just on just inspiration if I could just use this really quickly as I could put this on as a one and done just, and the two colors of this um, these two colors to me looked really beautiful so I'm just kind of I put more on but I'm just going to grab I don't know just a brush that I have that's clean and then just kind of use it to buff out the edges 
this can definitely be a one and done. And I, if I were to say, at least for me, I was hoping this would be a little bit brighter as a contrast, like more of an editorial look. Um, but it's okay, actually, I like that. <laughs> You know, you got to use the products and what works for you. So for me, I was like, this is so pretty eyeshadow moment here. And you, I think um, in another video, if I have time, I'll try, you know, or look on Instagram, I might use this also um, as a liner. But for me, I just, for me, it was really called to use this as a eyeshadow. So, you know, just play with your products. I know she meant this as eyeliner, but it's so creamy that... You can just, and there's play down time with this. And there we go. And I just kind of dragged whatever I had down here for a smoky moment. Look how pretty that is. So you can see on my skin tone that this, for me, what I think, it doesn't really show up as like Renaissance gold. It's more of a taupe. So I am i haven't seen anyone's review. I'm kind of curious what, how it's going to look for them. Even on her video, which I watched, and then her PR materials of swatches from light, medium to deep complected um, swatches. This looks much more gold than how it shows up on me. So I'm considered warm tan brown with a warm undertone. And that's not really gold to me. That is like a taupey shimmer. So um, I'm not saying I'm disappointed, but it was not what I was expecting. <laughs> But when I swatched this right next to the forest green, I said, wow, these are two, really two pretty colors. So this, I'm going to do the forest green now. And you can see that the, these two together are such like rich, rich fall colors. And I think I know what she did there. I don't know. Well, everything she does with it is with intention. All six are basic colors. But I can imagine like as I was swatching all four, there are such beautiful fall colors. And the six, I could see she released these for the season. And I could see her as we get into spring, she might even release the fun colors or into summer. So I think for an initial launch, it makes sense. I think these are beautiful colors. So for this Night Forest uh, green color, I definitely... Um, and I'll show you now because I just want you to be able to see it. I, I put this on the upper line and then I did a flick out here. And so again, it's it's wet. It's very slick and you have time to play. So I'm just grabbing a brush. This is a BK204 brush. This is meant for smudging out and has this edge. And you have play time. It reminds me a lot of the Victoria Beckham Kajals. Uh, I think they're not as pigmented these are, they're also slicker. They're both, I mean, black, uh, the Victoria Beckham eyeliners are also, I believe, they have some gel component to it. But these are definitely more um, slick. It's almost like more oily feeling. And I'm just, again, applying on it, it again over my eyes. And I think these are going to be great for smudging. Um, kind of a grungy look, if you will. That's why I just wanted to try these out and smudge. Or if you want to just do an editorial look, I just kind of do this. Super pretty, and I'll get in close C. So pretty. Um, and if it gets too messy for you, I'm just you can take the concealer brush that you used earlier, and then clean up the edges for a more like clean look to really emphasize the demarcation that's really pretty okay so I just wanted to show you how these two could be used because um, I just don't know if I could use this as a liner by itself I think it just blends in too much with my skin tone that it's not enough of a contrast so I'm really really curious after I fill mine and put mine up I really want to see how other beauties of my similar shading and um, or deeper are using it. I think if you're deeper than me, this is going to be more of a contrast or lighter, but it's just so close to my skin tone that it's just, um, I don't know if it, it would really, it would show up. It just, it's not my style. We can try it in another uh, video or an Instagram post. So here's the other thing I noticed that these are kind of hard to move. I mean, it doesn't budge. So I had to use Dawn soap in order to remove it, but right now I'm using a wipe and 
it does remove. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take off this eye makeup and then show you um, a different look. Probably one will be the burnt umber and one will be the ground coffee, just so we can see. And then we'll do some comparison swatches with other colors I have that are similar in my collection. Okay, so hi beauty fam, I am back. I It took a minute to take off of that eyeliner. So I tried to take it off with a wipe and it was really, really hard. So it definitely is long wearing. You're going to have to work it in with an oil-based cleanser. And I just happen to have this. This is the um, Chanel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover and it's um, pretty oil-based. So that was the only way I was able to remove the makeup and it takes a minute. So don't even mess with like regular soap and water, you're going to have to use an oil-based remover. So I just thought I'd note that and now it looks a lot better. It was not coming out. So this stuff is like, does not budge, at least on removing. And when I was actually opening these for the first time outside to swatch, I opened all four of the products. And unfortunately the burnt umber, I had to definitely sharpen it right ahead. A, a right away. I opened the package and the tip was already broken off. So here's the thing about these gel liners that are um, very like slick and gel like. You have to be careful with them. If they're too soft, which tends to be like this product and also I would say Victoria Beckham Beauty Kajal, these are pretty um, emollient and oily. So the tip I know that a lot of people like to have like a really, really sharp edge, but sometimes if it's too long, the tip will break. So that's something to keep in mind. Like this came broken already. So we'll see. Um, I'm just kind of noting that. I'm gonna get in close so you can see on this eye. I'm gonna try to do this in the mirror I have. And I'm just, this is how I would do my liner. So I'm just going on here. You can see it's very pigmented. And this again is the color ground coffee and it's pretty matte. Uh, it's almost like when I swatch this on my arm that if it ends up being so cool, it almost can have elements of being purple on my skin tone, which I'm not mad about. It's kind of cool. So this is very, very emollient. This is definitely like slicker and like kind of glides on more than any uh, formula I've ever tried. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this straight edge kind of 208 BK Beauty, it's like this tiny brush, and I'm going to just take some of that product and then make a wing. Okay, so I noticed that when I actually spread out the product more, then you see more of the brown, but the more pigmented it is, it definitely looks a little bit more um, like the cool plummy on me. It's just the strangest thing. So I have, I also have hooded lids, so you can see, wait, I'll do this, see. So you can see where my lid can meet my fold, and then there is transfer. Do you see that? So I have to be careful about kind of formulas like this that if it's almost too emollient, I have to do one of two things. Like I either have to use less and then just make sure it doesn't, you know, get into the fold here. I can't show you this. This is like older people problems, but also, you know, hooded lid issues. And I'm showing this to you because a lot of us do have hooded lids and not just with aging. So there definitely is transfer because it's so emollient. Okay, so the other thing that I know that you, people can do, I'm just taking a sponge here. Actually, I'm gonna take the tip of that, some of that remover still. Okay, so one thing you can do is either like don't use this product or use a thinner amount like closer to the lash line, which I might try to do. Or one thing that people, I'm not gonna do it, but I, cause I don't wanna do it for right now cause it's too difficult, is that you can take a color similar to this that's brown or any color that's similar to this and then pack it on to make it stay. Um, to me, that's a lot of effort. I don't tend to like to do that, but I'm just giving you tips. So what I'm gonna do is actually take it closer to my lash line on the underside. And that's another tip to do when you have hooded lids is not to put the product 
into the line, but like into the water line or close to the lash line. So what I'm doing is taking um, a Q-tip and some of that remover. And what I'm gonna do is like run it across. And actually I'm removing some of the product. And I have to say that for sure, just to be fair, I know that my Victoria Beckham Kajal does this too. So there is a bit of a transfer if I put too much on the lid, like on top of it. And the way, and that's just a, a formula plus hooded lid thing. And the way to work with that is actually, and if you can see, I'll put my head up here, um, is just to put the product under the lash line or close to the lash line as possible, not over it. And that way you kind of don't go into that fold right there. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna do is take some of that product and dot it underneath. And I'm not putting like a whole streaky amount down here just cause it's so pigmented. I'm just using dots. And then I'm taking again, this smudging kind of brush and then dragging the product a little bit. Just, I really love these small tools cause it's just a way to be a little bit more precise. And it's so pigmented that it just drags and there's more than enough pigment to be used. Okay. So that's ground coffee. Okay, that's one. I, I'm gonna do, here, I'll do um, a swatch of that, even though I showed you swatches. I think this is ground coffee. You can see it's like really, really pigmented, very, very matte. matte. And for that 40 seconds, it's, there's a slickness to it, you can see. And you can definitely smudge it out <laughs> if you want that smudgy kind of grungy look, which I think is great. Like I like these, that you can use these as a crisp liner if you want, but then you can also use them as a base for your makeup. Like you can just make a line here and then smudge it out and that just creates a beautiful base for laying down, um, layering your makeup. Okay, so I'm going into the color Burnt Umber next. And this is the one that arrived with the tip broken, unfortunately. So here's the Dunk Dark Umber. I love these colors. I actually prefer the Dark Umber colors more just because to me on my skin tone, since I have brown skin tone, don't fight me on it. Some people on the internet were saying that I'm not brown and medium. I'm brown. <laughs> so, um, and also it's cultural context. Like in Asia, we're considered brown. So, um, so on with my skin tone being brown and warm, often these burnt umber colors because they're warmer they just show up nicer on me so this is kind of like a neutral coffee whereas this is um it's just almost has like a red undertone right a warmer undertone and i tend to use these colors a lot more so let me grab the burnt umber and then i'm gonna do what i should have done on this i was just kind of put it close to my waterline if possible I might smudge it out here a little bit because I have some forgiveness over here. And just know with color theory, this is always gonna look different on different people with different skin tones and undertones. So if I were lighter, like these are gonna show up um, brighter. And if you're deeper, they're also gonna show up a little bit darker um, and that's color theory. Okay, so I'm cleaning off that little thing here this brush and then dragging some of this product. So you can see it's a little bit more red. And I have to tell you something that you might be able to see that that's so emollient that actually got on my contact. So I'm gonna have to, do you see that? It got on my contact. I'm gonna have to turn off the camera and clean it and then come back. Okay, so I'm back. I cleaned off my contacts. And that's something to know. Like, so if you have contacts and sensitive eyes, these can be a little bit too smudgy, too oily for you. And I have to figure out if it's going to be too oily for me because I definitely have contact sensitive eyes. And um, what's the other thing? I have oily eyelids, hooded eyelids. So sometimes the more emollient these products are, that's not necessarily a good thing. It depends on like what your needs are for all the things going on um, with your your face and your eye shape and your skin type. I do like this color a lot. 
It's not as pigmented as the Victoria Beckham, I would have to say. Um, I do like the Vic Victoria Beckham in that they are pretty pigmented. Like, when I'm in a hurry and I don't want to fuss, those that's kind of the color I use. The Coco Cajal is one of my favorite eyeliners just because it's so pigmented. Okay, so here you have Burnt Ummer on this eye, which is this color here. It's a little bit more warm tone, little baby wing. And then I have the ground coffee on this eye over here. This one here. And you can see like this is definitely more intense, the ground coffee, and this is a little bit more light. Definitely has more of a red tint to it. And it just depends on the look I'm going for. If I'm going for a smoky look, I might actually smudge this out more more an editorial look. I use the ground coffee. Um, and then I would definitely use this burnt umber more as like an everyday because it's more of like a um, easygoing brown to me. And I tend to have a lot of warm tones in my outfits and makeup. Oh. I'm going to do some swatches and I know some other reviewers might do like side by side. I'm not going to do that. Um, that's just not what I'm going to do on my channel. What I'm going to do is do side by side swatches and then you can see and then I know how these are going to wear compared to like I'll see how these wear over time compared to Victoria Beckham because I've used that product quite a bit and on first impression what I can say is already it's less pigmented than Victoria Beckham Kajals and they are just definitely slicker and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Again, it depends on like what you prefer. Some people like it to be less slick so they can have it stay put more. So I think if you have oily lids or hooded lids, I don't know if you're going to want it to be this wet. Um, I actually prefer generally it not to be that wet. And I'll when I do the swatches, I'll tell you actually which are my favorite liners. And then, you know, I'm just going to have to wear this over time to actually see if it kind of boots over and you know if it's gonna be better than the other products but I can say for sure this is like the slickest and the most emollient eyeliner that I've used that's not a liquid liner liquid liquid this just has like a lot of slip and a lot of like it must be silicone in the in the formula or the chamomile extract it's just it's pretty wet and so I think some people will like that and I think some people will not and who will like that? Some people who want playtime and like they want to build the look and smudge it and they don't have, they have dry, um, like uh, not eyelid issues, like hooded eyelids or if they don't have like oily eyelids. So who might not like it? Um, you know, just as I'm always going to be honest on my channel. This is like, I'm guessing someone who has oily eyelids. Like I have to see how this wears for me. This might just really transfer. I'm not sure. I'll put a link below or come on later tonight to show you how it's wearing. Um, if you have super, super oily lids, I don't know you're going to want a product this slick. If you have hooded lids, I literally showed you that, um, like as this fold comes down, it can, let me see, actually, let me see, do a test here. If it's going to transfer. The, is there any transfer? Okay, so it did settle. This had not set down yet, so that's why there was transfer, but I think I'm gonna guess that once it sets down, it won't transfer, but we'll see. And I think if you want something a little bit more pigmented, there are other liners such as the Victoria Beckham or even I would say Chanel that are probably even more pigmented than this formula, but we'll see because once you see, like how once you smudge it out, can you see that you lose some of the pigment? And that could be a good or bad thing, but some people want the same consistency of pigment on the application. So let me do this. I'm going to finish my eye look. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow, but what I'm going to do is like finish my concealer because I wiped that off and mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, beauty fam, I am back and I finished my eye look putting back my concealer because I had to remove it on the initial application from the first look and then finishing with mascara on the bottom, MAC Giga Black and then Chantecai Faux Sealed Mascara on top. Okay, again, so this side is the Burnt Umber. And this side is the Ground Coffee. They're both supposed to be a matte, and I would say the Ground Coffee is definitely a deeper pigmented matte. And on the first swipe, unless you smudge it out, it almost reads like a, almost like a cool black, 
almost almost like a plum at least on my skin tone you can see on the swatches but as I kind of winged it out you can see it is just more of a deep neutral brown and then the burnt umber also pigmented but when I start when you start to smudge it out more of the actual color comes through because the pigment is spread out so that's something to note that the more you spread out the product it's not going to uh, well the product the pigment is going to spread a little bit and the color might change and some people might look at that and just want, might want to know that I didn't find that to be the case so much with Victoria Beckham so what we're gonna do is I'm going to zoom out I actually my face is pretty simple today I only have the Lisa Eldridge seamless skin foundation and the shade 20.5 on my face and then Natasha Denona concealer high glam I think this is the medium color this one I'll put it below and I use it for my dark circles and then LM 14 concealer under my eyes and then I'm just using gloss because I want to really concentrate on the eye look. I have no blush or contour on or anything. Um, I just have the Suku Treatment Wrapping Lip 101 on my lips for gloss. So it's just all about the eyes and that's why the makeup is very simple today. But I'm still loving her foundation. Like, it's just a wonderful shade match. I showed you about three looks where using all four products. And, you know, again, Renaissance Gold, I just don't know. I generally don't use that um, light of colors on my eyeliner. I like to have deeper ones just because I'm just one of those people that likes to build up my lash. It'd be nice um, as an accent or um, over, a, like on the um, upper part as like an editorial look or smudged out like I did as an eyeshadow. And I do like that green that was pretty nice and then um again this is the ground coffee i prefer burnt umber just because this is a little bit too deep for me and too intense it's just very subtle but this looks a lot more intense than this okay so i'm gonna do swatches really quick okay so i'm gonna show you night forest this is the color night forest and then i have my celadon which is Chanel Ye. Celadon is the green color in number 60. It's a different formula altogether. This is a drier formula and it's not as pigmented. There's more, um, what do you call it, tack. So it doesn't glide on as much, but some people might prefer this formula because it's less uh, wet or slick. I don't mind it. Some people don't like it. They say it's too dry, but if you want something slick, I can see and super pigmented, you're going to want probably to try this Lisa Eldridge. This next one is a Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayon, this one. And this is the one that came out with the Yucca palette. This is the color Willow. And this is also a gel formula. And you can see also that has a, a real nice glide. This is almost like a green teal color, which I love. I love this color. This, I think, this formula is the closest, I think, to the Victoria Beckham Beauty in that it's gel and it has, like, super pigmentation as well. This green is more of, like, I would say, like, more of a classic green. Uh, this is the Black Forest by Chantecaille. I love these luster pencils. These are also very, I think there's actual silk on these. These are kind of spendy, but I love this formula. So it's less emollient and slick th than this Lisa Eldridge, but it definitely has a glide to it more. And I think it's a little bit more forgiving, if you will, with then Natasha Denona. If you make a mistake with that Natasha Denona, it's so pigmented, you're going to see. Whereas this, this um, color, Black Forest, is... Um, Again, it's more of a teal. These last two ones are have like a more of a blue leaning green, whereas this is like a more of like an emerald um, green, more neutral looking green. And I think that's it with my greens. I want to show you at least what I have. I don't have Olive Brocade and Victoria Beckham. That's actually been on my list, but I do have a list to get. I do have the Satin Kajal in Surfside. And again, it's like that kind of bluish green. I definitely have a type. I did not like this formula. It it was too slick and it ran everywhere. And this, I found this like formula to be almost like too slick and it's almost slick as this, but the thing is about this color is so bright. It's like if you, again, if you mess up 
on these really bright colors. They're just not as forgiving, at least in my experience. Some people love these formulas and ride or die, but here's here's the thing I'll say about the Victoria Beckham. I love it in the deeper colors because the bright ones, when you get smudgy on it, it's just not as forgiving. It looks like a hot mess, whereas the smudginess of a cocoa or a, a ground coffee, it's just going to look like a beautiful smoky look versus like a hot mess on that. That's why I don't like this formula in the bright colors. That's just me. Other people, this is like their ride or die formula. So this is, again, the... These are the green ones I have in my collection. Okay, I don't have anything like Renaissance, but I will swatch it for you. And you can see it's, to me, I can see some people liking this as a liner, but it's just not my aesthetic. And I don't have anything that like that's as shimmery like that. The closest I have is this um, Sisley crayon, and it's like a one that you can use as a liner or um, put all, all over your lid. And it's the shade 7. This is the Phyto Eye Twist number 7. And it's like a plumber, plummy shimmery color. That's the closest I have. It's not as shimmery as the Renaissance Gold. It's almost like a plum. But there is some like gold reflect in there. But I have nothing like this in my collection. That's why I ended up getting it because I wanted to try it. Um, I am noticing it kind of has a little bit of fallout because it has a little bit of glitter in it. But that's, again, Renaissance, and this is Phyto Twist um, Sisley in 7. But I do like this so far as, like, an eyeshadow or an accent. Grounded Coffee, and that's, again, that kind of that deep neutral color. And you can see how wet that is. It's just, yeah, that we have that 40 seconds to really play with this product. And it's super smudgy, you can see. And you can almost see, like, the more pigment I put, it's almost like a different color. There's almost, a me, it looks a little bit plummy, but when you spread it out, then you see that coffee color. This is a uh, Pat McGrath and black coffee. Similar, again, that coffee thing. Black coffee. And I like this one a lot because it's actually more of a matte. There's almost a sheen with this grounded coffee. And I kind of like when I'm doing a deeper look. I don't know if I want shimmer in it. I just want it to be a matte. This is the color Wayne Goss Essential Eye Coal Pencil in the color um, Hazel, Rich Hazel. And again, this is like a classic coal. It's meant to be on the lids that you can smudge it out. And some people don't like this liner. I actually really love his liners because they're dry and they don't move. And I can use them a lot um, on my lids and they don't budge. This is Vic the Victoria Beckham um, Cocoa. And you can see it's less shimmery. There's like, uh, there's definitely some sort of shimmer in that Lisa Eldridge. Can you see it's almost like a plum color where this is definitely more of like a matte. And let me do this so you can see. Very similar though. Um, and if you were to ask me which one I, do I actually prefer right now, I actually prefer the... Victoria Beckham, just because it's the one I use the most in terms of a smudgy look. This is Wayne Goss Granite. There's almost like a cool tone in there of a gray. And the last one that's close is the Pat McGrath Blitz Brown. And it has some sort of shimmer in it, but not as deep. It's actually more warm. Okay, so those are the comparisons. I would say it's definitely closest to the Victoria and Beckham Coco Kajal, and as you smudge it out, it's very um, similar, but this, um, although it's gel-like, it's less, it's less slick. And the last comparison we're going to do is Burnt Umber. Again, that's like the warmer brown, and let me just smudge it out a little bit so you can see. And then for comparison's sake, for Fonzies, I'm actually grabbing the Coco Kajal, from Victoria Beckham so you can see again I don't think this is um, the similar color this is closer to the ground coffee because there's a more of a warmth with this burnt umber so this is burnt umber Lisa Eldridge and this is below it is the uh, Victoria Beckham cocoa it is the Natasha Denona Macrotech eye crayon and this is the color brown And to me, this is more of like a warm brown. There's like less red in it. For me, this is harder to smudge. So this is for me, I don't use this as a smudging liner. It's just a liner that stays put. 
Um, and then I have probably one of my favorite liners. Look how small this is. This is Jasper Shantikai. Less red. More of a neutral brown. And then I have Victoria Beckham Kajal in, I think this is Bordeaux. Yes, Bordeaux. You can see that's much more red. And that actually does like a more look like a Bordeaux Merlot color. And I'll smudge it out so you can see. And then I have Chanel Psyche. I don't know if they make this anymore, Psyche 959. And this is a bit more like Bordeaux. It has some red in it. This is classic matte, the color Teddy. This is really drier than, this is probably one of my driest pencils. I actually don't enjoy that much, but I use what I have. These last three are actually all Wayne Goss. So this is Copper Flame. Definitely more red, not like that um, burnt umber. Uh, this is the, the color Wayne Goss Tiger's Eye. I love this color. Again, some more of a neutral brown, less um, red. And you can smudge it. Let me show you that. Yeah, there's less red in there. And this is my favorite um, Wayne Goss. It's so small, I had to look it up. This is the Precious Opal. And to me, this reminds me of Coco for Coco in um, Wayne Goss. Reminds me of um, Coco in up here for, what is it called? Victoria Beckham. But there's, it's less slip. There's just a, like, uh, just enough slip. So, you know, all any of these are going to be fine. I think for people are going to ask, which do you recommend it? I think you have to know what you prefer in terms of the formula, how you like to use your eyeliners. So for me, I like for there to be some slip, but sometimes if it's too slick, again, with my oily eyelids and hooded eyelids, that can be a hot mess, which you can sometimes see. I, my favorite formula is really, my favorite, I, I do love, my favorite brown is the Coco from Satin Kajal by Victoria Beckham. And then I love, really, I do love my Chanel um, eyeliners because I don't have to fuss with sharpening them. The bad side is that sometimes they do get dry, but I haven't experienced that. I like it because it's like a tube that you go up, but you get less product, but it's, I don't have to deal with sharpening or, um, yeah, I don't have to deal with sharpening. I think that's for a convenience factor for me. And then I really, really enjoy the Wayne Goss liners. The Natasha Denona, they're almost too pigmented for me and they kind of dry down. They're like not enough slip in it. So I do like the Wayne Goss and that, it, the Wayne Goss reminds me a lot of the Chanel liners and that they're just easier to use. There's just enough slip, but there's some grip that it doesn't kind of get over all over the place. I'll see, these are very emollient, so I'll see how these wear throughout the day um, over this next couple hours, and then I'll pin a comment below. If I get to get on camera um, later tonight, I'll do that as well. But if I don't get to it, we'll just end the video and review here. Thank you for watching, and I hope that was helpful for you, beauty fam. If you found it helpful or if you have any questions, let me know below. Um, pin a comment below for me, and let me know what you think. Are you interested in this collection? Do you have a favorite eyeliner? color and brand let me know below and um, if any of these looks or colors that you liked let me know if you like them or if none of if these are not for you just let me know that's fine too um and then if you or had some fun or learned something new hang out with me comment and like below it helps me out and remember to subscribe I would, I would love to have you in the mickey car beauty fam so with that have a wonderful day and as always please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you take good care beauty fam i'll see you in the next video bye